Yo, 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 what is up, Diamond family? It's your man, Vivi, and I'm back with another video for you. As you know, I'm here every Monday, dropping off gems, teaching you how to record and mix your music better. So if you're into that, stay tuned, man. I got a really special video for you today. I'm gonna show you how to get those perfect modern rap vocals using only three plugins. I'm telling you, only three plugins, it's about to get crazy. If you stay tuned to the end, though, I'm gonna give you one extra crazy tip that's just gonna take this concept to the next level. So. Let's jump right into it. I'm working on this mix for my guy Mello, um, and the, the song's crazy. The, the song is fire, and I think the mix is about to take it to the next level. So I'm going to play you the vocal. I'm going to take the effects off, and I'm going to play you the vocal just dry. Um, the only thing that's on it is Waves Tune, as you can see right here, and then our um, Slate mic emulation. A lot of people have asked what mic we're using. We're using the Slate ML1 modeling microphone. Dope microphone. I think it's on sale right now for $4.99. Definitely pick that joint up, man. Um, I'm using the Sony FG800 emulation and then I'm using the channel strip emulation as well. So that's really the only thing you're going to hear on this vocal. Um, it's feeding this 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 vocal is feeding the lead bus right here and we're taking all the effects off of this bus. So let's just hear the dry vocal. I'ma sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you niggas out here eating. I'm gonna shop on my city, I'm undefeated. Got all right, cool. So, I mean, it's it's a nice sounding vocal. It's a cool sounding vocal, but obviously, you know, it needs compression. It needs to be EQ'd. It needs to be treated. Um, but we're, we've got a great place to start. And that's really a tip that I can't stress enough. Start with a good recording, the best recording that you can. Um, you don't want to have to do a whole lot of work just to get the vocal to be usable. If you got a good vocal to start with, you got a lot more potential to make it great. So... That's just my little rant. The first plugin we're going to use is the de -esser. Um Before I turn it on, I want you to pay special attention to the first couple of words he says. I'm going to sit back and watch this, listen to the S's and how they, how they poke out, and then we'll listen to the way that the de controls them. So let's play that. I'm going to sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They yeah, sit back, relax, and just listen. I'm going to sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. So the S's are a little bit, you know, pokey, a little bit sharp. Um, for the de I use the shelf. Um... And I rolled it off at 4176, 4176. Anything above this is getting turned down if it's above negative two, if it, you know, comes above negative 24 on the on the um, fader. So let's bypass this, unbypass it, and let you hear it. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say Without it? I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. With it? I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They so that's just the beginnings of controlling the vocal. So that's instantly making the vocal a lot more concise, a lot more tight, less things that are jumping out at you is keeping the vocal in one place, which is really what my goal is when I'm mixing a modern rap vocal. I want it to stay in the same place. Um, so that's DSing, quick, easy to set. Let's go over, over to our compression. Um, I'm using a 76 style compressor. I'm using the slowest release time and I'm sorry, the fastest release time. And I'm using just a little bit faster than the slowest attack time. So that means most of the transients are still coming through, but it is clamping down on a lot of those louder parts that come in a little bit more quickly. So let's play that without the compression and then we'll play it with it. I'm going to sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you niggas out. So if you don't really know what to listen for in compression, I'm going to highlight this section right here. Listen to the way the vocal and the volumes change between the words in this specific section. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you. They right all there in there and I'm the reason and all of that. It's just the vocal dips down a little bit. So let's see how the compressor can fix that. But they say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you. They so and what that did that the compressor just kept all of that vocal up front, so you don't miss any of the words when the beats kicking and the snares are hitting. You don't miss a single word that was said. So that's our compression. And the final thing we did was just EQ the vocal. Um, the vocal sounds good, but once I compress, I start to hear a little more of the frequencies and things that kind of annoyed me. Um, and as you can see on the EQ, I'm just doing very broad moves. I'll play without it, and then I'll come back and add the EQ in. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too, raw, man, that nigga cheat. Right, let's hear it with the EQ. 
I'ma sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you niggas out here eating. So basically, we dug out some of the congestion in this mid-range. Um, I think we're right around, yeah, 1.5K, and it was just a little nasally and a little a little tight in that area, so we wanted to free up some space. Um, this top shelf that I put right here, 3.66, I like to boost there because that's right around where I DS, and so if I'm DS and I'm turning everything down every time the S hits, I like to push up a little bit more S's so it's not turning down. I'm sorry, a little bit more high end so it's not turning down um, some of the good parts of the high end that we like to keep. And then the last thing I'm, I'm using down here is a high pass filter this filter is cool though because we've got it set at 225 um, which is actually pretty high but it's boosting right on the other side of that um, I don't really like to cut too much between 200 and 300 I feel like a lot of the body of the vocal lives there so if you cut too much of that a lot of times your vocal gets thin so I like that even though we're cutting a little bit on the 200 side we're boosting right on the other side of that probably in the 230 240 250 range which is preserved some of the body of the vocal so it's a subtle eq but i'm gonna play it on and off you can kind of catch what's going on i'm gonna sit back relax and just smoke that reefer they say mellow too raw man that nigga cheat i'm gonna sit back relax and just smoke that reefer it's just a little bit darker a little bit a little bit uh cloudier and this eq subtle eq just brought out a little bit more you know brightness and a little bit more uh presence to the vocal so let's run with that. Um, I'll bring the effects back in so we can hear the effects that we added to the vocal, and then we'll play what we got. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you niggas out here eating. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just... And that's it, man. Three effects is all you need to make a vocal sound great. Um... I don't I don't really know what else to tell you, man. You start with a great with a great vocal, you can really take that vocal somewhere special. All right. So I know you guys want it. Here's the advanced tip. We only use three plugins there because I like to use uh buses when I'm mixing. So I have my all vocals bus. I'm gonna load up one of my track presets that I like to use for my all vocals bus and let's see what that sounds like when we add it on. So there's a VMR with a few uh a few spices added and then we're also using fresh air to give us a little bit more um high-end saturation so let's play that same section we've been listening to with our vocal bus engaged i'm gonna sit back relax and just smoke that reefer they say mellow too raw man that nigga cheating i'm the reason some you niggas out here eating i'm gonna sit back relax and just smoke that reefer they so as you can hear, what we really got from that was saturation, especially in the high end. That high end saturation is definitely something that you want in your vocal because that's really what's going to help it to cut through, um, specifically on smaller speakers. So literally all we did was select a preset and add it. So let's try the same thing on the mix bus. Let's load up one of my uh, mix bus presets and see what that does for the track. Playback. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheat. I'm the reason some you niggas out here. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I might be giving away too many gems because that right there really just changed the game. Here, I'm gonna take all that off. I'm gonna undo, um, and then I'll add it again. So this is without it. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheat. Right, let's load up that preset again. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you niggas out here eating. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. I don't know, man. You know what? Let's let let's let's just try the same thing on the master. You know what I mean? Let me load up one of my master uh, presets, and and see what it does for the full track. And at the same time, I'll pull up the meter too and see where we're where we're at numbers wise. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you niggas out here eating. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too raw, man, that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you niggas. So as you can see, with this process, it makes it so easy and so quick to really tweak your songs. Now, this is just a starting point, right? So I would load in these these mix bus presets, these track presets, and I would tweak from there. But as you see, you start with a good bass. Once you start adding these things on, it doesn't take a lot of work to get you where you're trying to go. So, hey, man, that's all I got for you today, man. I hope you found some value in these gems. If you need anything, a mix and master, you just want to say what's up, ask some questions, shoot me an email down below, info at vbsrecording.com. And we're still giving away our free template in the link description down below. Just follow the link, give me your email, and it will instantly deliver you the VVS Pro Tools template. Yo, that's all I got. I'll see you guys next Monday. Stay safe.
Be easy. Peace. I'ma sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too, I'm that nigga cheating. I'm the reason some you niggas out here eating. I'ma sit back, relax, and just smoke that reefer. They say mellow too, I'm that.